Yo, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. And I know what this looks like. This is not an ad. I promise. This really dope Puma crew right here was actually found in this video right there. So if you have not checked it out, go ahead, check it out. Just saying, shameless plug all day. But these guys were sent by Puma. And the reason why I'm wearing this is because I was wearing my favorite Jordan brand hoodie. And I know when I cross contaminate brands, the viewers have a panic attack. I don't know why, but you guys do. And it's weird, didn't want to hear about it. So I changed into this, okay? Are you happy now? Cool. But these guys right here feature brand new tech, liquid cell technology from Puma. Let's check them out. So when we open up the box here, we've got QR codes for days. It's literally everywhere. What a package and presentation this. This is pretty damn cool, I gotta say. This is what a media pack kind of looks like. It depends on like the shoe, the brand and all that stuff. They're all different. They all have their own little displays and all that stuff. I've gotten some really cool ones over the years. This one is definitely one of them. And uh, this features what they're calling the uh, Puma liquid cell. So this has brand new tech for Puma which is awesome, and we're gonna talk about it. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna take these shoes out here. What I think is really cool is that not only do the shoes come in the media kit, but there's extra little goodies. We'll talk about this in a minute. And then we've got this little guy right here as well, little Puma Pop Socket. Every time I see these, you know what I think of every time I see these? Can you imagine? Like, do you know? Every time I see these, I always think, Pop Sockets. <laughs> now you can never unhear what I've heard or whatever, pop sockets. Buy one today. So this is the Puma Liquid Cell. These things are interesting. This colorway is not. This colorway is not it. In my opinion, there are two colorways available now, though this is one of them. The other one's like a, a cleaner, like white and black look or whatever. It's got a little bit of like blue in it. But these things feature Puma's new Puma Cell technology, which is featured right there in the back or the rear. And just for anybody that does not know, Puma's cell technology is an old school technology that Puma used to use way back in the day. They've implemented it a lot in a lot of their kind of like throwback shoes that are available right now which do include the palace guard as well as just the puma cell runner and what puma cell originally was was hexagonal shapes that was made up in basically like gel form it reminds me a lot of reebok's hexalite but hexalite is more i guess like a, a derivative of air which was from nike but in the honeycombs and things like that you find that shape in nature it's supposed to be much stronger that was like the reebok's original pitch puma does not use any such pitches for their hexagonal shape they just say that like the way that it is like the way that you press on it and the way that it expands and contracts and all that stuff under pressure along with being made up of this like gel that it's just better for impact protection rebound and it lasts a lot longer which is true now this guy right here is essentially the puma cell technology or the liquid cell technology i should say so this is their newest stuff and this smooth surfaced side is what you're going to be seeing in the product itself so when you see the product you're going to see that smooth kind of like area and then i don't know Know how well you guys can see underneath it but there are those hexagon shapes and that is the other side of the uh the material right here so this is essentially what it looks like in there which is pretty interesting it's all hexagonal shapes and you can see that it moves with movement so when you press on it uh, with your body weight then it, it expands or absorbs and then it moves back into its original shape and all that stuff and and that is what using a hexagon shape whether it's from puma or from reebok that's the uh, essential gist of it is that this shape right here is able to take impact and really like take the load on and then absorb it and then deflect it back for like energy return. And that's something that I think is very interesting. The liquid cell portion of the Puma cell technology is a much thinner version of the tech and it just literally looks like liquid. So they're able to like do a lot more with it now that it's thinner, it's lighter, uh, but it still does the same exact stuff. The essential properties of it is a ETPU, much like something like Boost, but it does not have the foam kind of look to it. Again, it looks like liquid, it looks like gel. That is essentially what it is it's it's a type of polyurethane but an elastic thermoplastic polymer which is like i'm not a scientist i don't even know science bro but that is essentially what it is and i think it's really cool the only downside to it in my personal opinion is that it's a little heavy especially in the back uh, you could definitely feel all of that chunk back there if it was a little more evenly distributed i think it would be interesting i think it would be one of those things that you kind of like want to feel you know what i mean like if i saw this on a shelf which is what you know visible tech is all about but if i saw this on a shelf and i saw it full length i'd be like yo i want to see what that feels like and so that's where you would go and like you'd 
pique the interest of a consumer. They'd want to then try it on or try it out, which is why putting products in stores is so essential. It's even today where a lot of people purchase a lot of stuff online, but those are things where like we purchase mass, you know, consumer goods and stuff like that. But based off of what we already know of the product, a lot of people are not familiar with this stuff. So I feel like they need to get this stuff in stores inside of malls or retailers. That way they can actually try it on and see for themselves. So you could see right there, again, the liquid cell, they brand it right there on the back. I love the way that this looks. It's probably like my favorite little part of this sneaker right there, which is kind of weird, but all sneakers kind of have that one little piece that draws my eye to it. And this is this shoes version of that. And then on the outsole right here, you can see where everything is broken up. This area right here is split. It's also carved out or cratered out so that it could really add to the compression feeling. And they also highlight the uh, little hexagon shapes and all that stuff within the traction or the outsole itself, which I thought was a really slick move. And you can also see that the, the gel does go directly underfoot as well as just being visible on the side, which is a good move as well. Same thing here, you got little cutouts so that you can add for compression with the uh, lightweight foam that they use. And then they still you know play on that whole like hexagonal shape throughout the entire outsole. The midsole itself is uh, two different things. I, I'm on their website, it says that it's soft foam plus, not really sure what that means other than it's soft foam but then also in uh they have this app for the the tech and for the shoe and all that stuff for the the look which we'll explain later and on that app it says that it's pro foam so i don't know which one it is all i know is how it feels underfoot and it is pretty soft it's it's lightweight especially in comparison to the rear right here which is where that liquid cell is housed however the main the main winner of the shoe here as far as comfort is concerned actually comes from the insole itself and this is the insole right here this is just a really springy and fluffy little guy right there i think it feels awesome this i really want to take and put it in all kinds of other shoes because it just feels good it feels almost like gel but it's not it feels like those little kind of squishy toys that my wife and i were talking about not too long ago it's got that slow rise <laughs> So while the tooling itself feels a little heavy, the insole is really gonna give you that kind of like bang for your buck feeling. It's gonna give you crazy stepping comfort. That actually might be the soft foam plus that they're talking about on the website, the insole itself, whereas the midsole might be that pro foam. The upper is interesting. It's definitely running inspired. This is not a technical runner though. This is not a performance shoe. However, they did say that it's kind of like bridging the gap between performance and lifestyle, which a good design would do anyways. And this guy right here is built on an interesting type of material. The only thing that I can really compare it to is if you guys remember Nike's torch, which they used to use in like the tongues or like the inner booties of a couple of the more popular Kobe models, the five and the six. That's what the entire upper is kind of like made out of. It's like a foam material with like this like, you know, diamond cut look or whatever inside of it. So hopefully you guys can see that under there, but it's got that, that kind of like foam layer. And then you can see the design in it with the mesh overlays. And then on top of that, we have a bunch of leather, which is interesting. And it is actual leather, even though it doesn't look like it with this graphic printed onto it but it is actual leather it's a nice thin cut it's really soft uh, to the touch and you got that in overlays on the like the purple areas and things like that with a couple of like weird highlighter colors all throughout which you know obviously is that like really bright volt looking color the bright pinks the purples this weird orange stripe and then you got some throwback hits right here like the little tab right there i think that this is really cool as well and then the inside lining is also heavily padded very comfortable and it also kind of points to that cell technology and that hexagonal shape and that is throughout the entire uh, interior so I think that that's a really cool touch now as far as fit is concerned they do feel a little bit long these guys are in my true size some of Puma shoes do fit me true to size. This one, in my opinion, feels a little bit longer than the rest. So if you want a nice, snug, close fit, I would go down half a size from your regular size or going true to size will give you just enough like, you know, room in the front or whatever for if you have wide feet or if you just happen to like the way that that feels. And that pretty much takes care of it for these guys. They are available now in two colorways, like I was saying earlier. You know, the funny thing is the more that I hold these in my hand, the less weird that they look. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why or how that's happening, but I'm kind of like slowly like talking myself into being like, yeah, these are kind of fresh. I like the little like, you know, the weird bright color pops and stuff like this. Kind of reminds me of the 80s. Um, hype beast. I'm not, this is not a hype beast shoe. <laughs> I'm just talking myself into digging them. What are you talking about? I'm so good at what I do, I convince myself. That's what it is. That's a joke, sort of. That's like a subtle flex. So that takes care of it for these guys right here. Again, they're available right now in two colorways. More colorways are to come. Retail is 120 bucks. You can find them at most Puma retailers, including Puma.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Let us know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Do you own a pair? Do you kind of want to own a pair? Do you just want to try them on and see how they feel? This insole might be worth it. Thank you again for watching and until next time guys, have a good one. So the Puma liquids sell. What do you think about them?
Jody. <laughs> I think Puma is nailing it with their insoles. Yo, the insoles legit. This is the winner right here. This thing is so rubbery. It's so bouncy. It feels good. Like this is what what sneakerhead dreams are made out of. So I don't know why more brands don't do something like this. Well, and I don't know why they don't put it in all of their stuff across the line. Uh, that I don't know, because we were talking off camera. This would have been awesome in the Puma Uproar, the shoe that lacks cushion. Like, yo, like for real, come on. But I, they have something very similar in their RSX. Uh, it's yeah, just but missing the, the pillows. Which I like, because those pillows can like rub your toes. They can feel awkward sometimes. Yeah. Um, but this is also like, this feels different than those. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel the same, even though it's kind of similar. It's very similar. So I think that this is an underrated piece in the sneaker puzzle that almost every brand like overlooks. And I'm glad that Puma is not. Speaking of puzzles and the weird upper that we didn't really get to cover. Oh yeah. the um. What are they called? QR codes? Yeah, you have to get the app yeah. to unlock the crazy code. Correct, and each code on every shoe, well, first off, each, there will be a code on the upper, apparently, of every shoe, no matter what the colorway is, and each colorway unlocks what they call a different filter, so it's like Snapchat for your sneakers. So do you think then the other colorway of this has a different filter that pops up? Oh, that's what I just said. I, look, I, I, I just <laughs> said that. I, ju I just said that, okay? Do you think it's like an ice? I don't know what it is, but like all I know is that this one has this specific filter. So you need to fit the shoe inside of, voila. And then all of a sudden you have <laughs> some fire kicks. And then the other colorway will have a different filter and then any future colorways will also have like a new unlocked filter, which is interesting. The, the thing that kind of sucks is like you can't use it on other shoes because that would be like the fun part. Yeah. Is like making anything catch fire or whatever. O other than that, I think it's an interesting feature. And yeah, like you can take the picture and then like, like if they're on your feet, you can do an on foot shot with these on fire or whatever and then like upload it to your Instagram and then Puma is actually good like their their socials mm -hmm. where they like to interact and repost people's posts and stuff like that so it's kind of cool like you can like you know mingle a little bit you can be insta famous for like two seconds yeah so 